Hello, this video is designed to help you fill in your 2013 annual information statement online. Remember, your answer to these questions will appear on the ACNC Public Register unless we've agreed for any information to be withheld, so it's important to get this right. All the details you'll see entered in this video are based on a fictitious organisation named The Yellow Charity. They don't belong to an actual charity. To begin, open your web browser and go to acnc.gov.au. Choose Login to the 2013 AIS and Start the 2013 AIS. Your username is your charity's Australian Business Number or ABN. Your password should have arrived in a letter from the ACNC sometime over the past few weeks. If you haven't received it by the end of August, give us a call on 132262. Once you've entered your password, click Sign In. On the next page, read this important information and then click Start. You'll notice that questions 1, 2, 3 and 4 have been filled in for you. There may be a small number of charities whose details don't appear here yet. If that applies to you, go ahead and fill them in now. Also, if your charity is known by any other names than the ones that appear in question 3, just click Add New Record, enter each name it's known by, and choose Save or Save and New if you're going to add another record. Check all the pre-filled details are correct. There could be some information missing. When you've done that, move on to question 5. Question 5 asks for your address for service. This is the address to which you want all correspondence from the ACNC, including legal documents, to go to. If you enter an email address, the ACNC will automatically use only your email as your address for service. Question 6 asks about the reporting period your charity uses. Many organisations do their reporting based on the financial year, from the 1st of July till the 30th of June. Others may report on a different period, such as the calendar year January the 1st to December the 31st. Charities with a different accounting period need to request that the ACNC approve them to use what's called a Substituted Accounting Period, or SAP. You can do this using Form 4A on the ACNC website, if you haven't already. If you've already been approved for a substituted accounting period, click No in question 6, wait for the page to refresh, and then enter the last day of your financial year in the box that appears, in this case the 31st of July, or 31-07. Remember, don't start your 2013 AIS until the end date of your accounting period has passed. Question 7 is about the size of your charity. All you need to do is choose which revenue bracket your charity belongs in from the drop-down menu. For example, if your charity's gross annual revenue is between $250,000 and $1 million, you would choose Medium. In Question 8, you'll need to select all the charitable purpose categories that apply to your charity. For example, the relief of poverty, sickness or the needs of the aged, and the advancement of education. You'll need to select no for any that don't apply, and if your charity's purposes go beyond the categories, choose yes next to other purposes beneficial to the community. When the box appears, type in what those purposes are.
Question 9 is only relevant if one of your charitable purposes is advancing religion. If this doesn't apply, choose Not Applicable. If your charity is a religious organisation, answer whether it meets the criteria for a basic religious charity. You can find a definition in our 2013 AIS guide, but if you're not sure, call the ACNC on 132262. In question 10, you'll need to select whether or not your charity is part of an approved reporting group. Your charity would have received approval from the ACNC if you have been allowed to do this. You can read more about group reporting on the ACNC website under Publications and Corporate Policies – Group Reporting. That's the first page done. Now you can click Next Page and move on to Section B. Question 11 is about the activities your charity conducted in your last financial year. If your charity conducted any activities, including financial activities, choose Yes. Then in question 12, choose your charity's main activity from the drop-down menu. After that, you can select any other kinds of activities that you've conducted, remembering that this question is only asking about your past financial year, not before or after. Question 13 asks how your charity pursued its charitable purposes in your last financial year. You're welcome to use words from your annual report to answer this, up to a character limit of 1500. If the way your charity pursues its purposes is going to change in the next financial year, click Yes for question 14, and then in the box that appears, explain how they will change. Question 15 is about who you helped through your charity's activities in the last financial year. Select all the groups that apply, and then click Next. For question 16, you'll need to estimate how many full-time employees, part-time employees, and volunteers worked at your organisation in the past financial year. If you aren't sure about numbers, try looking back over your pay-as-you-go payment summary and enter your best estimate. Your charity may have operated in more than one location. Question 17 allows you to select the relevant states and territories in which your charity operated last financial year. Choose Yes in the drop-down menu if it also operated overseas and then in the drop-down menu that appears, choose any countries where you worked. Now click Next Page. This last section, Section D, are all optional questions. The questions relate to your other reporting obligations apart from the ACNC. The ACNC will use this information in its work towards streamlining reporting obligations for charity. If you would like to provide the information, click Yes for question 18 and then Add New Record. In the menu that appears, choose all the Commonwealth departments or agencies your organisation reports to. Then click Save. You can add as many departments or agencies as you need to, but remember, you don't have to include the Australian Tax Office. In question 19, which is also optional, you can choose to let the ACNC know if you reported to any state departments or agencies other than your incorporating regulator. If you click Yes, 
the page will refresh and then you'll be able to choose which states from a list down below. Question 20 asks how much time it took your staff and volunteers to put together all the reports you had to submit to any Commonwealth, state or territory agencies and departments. Add up the hours and fill in the total. You can also upload your last financial report here. Choose your file, click Attach and then Next Page. Section E must be filled in by a person who can make the declaration that all the information provided is true and correct. Read the description of the types of declarations to make sure. If you're the person making the declaration, fill in your details and the position you hold in relation to the charity. After reading the guidance material, select which type of declaration you're signing. Also, don't forget to read the privacy information before you submit. When you're ready, tick the I declare box, add the date, and choose submit. You'll receive an email confirming that your form has been received. Check your junk folder if it doesn't arrive fairly quickly. You can print out your AIS if you like, and if you have any questions, contact the ACNC on 132262 or by emailing advice at acnc.gov.au. We're always happy to help. Goodbye.